The question, is it normal to have night fever spikes when you have fibromyalgia? Fibromyalgia and fever are actually related because an individual who is suffering from fibromyalgia can actually have a low-grade fever at any given time. There isn't really any specific evidence that connects the two but there is that possibility that fibromyalgia can cause a fever. Source, Overcome Fibromyalgia, Fibromyalgia too. However, typically the fevers are very mild and is not the main reason for discomfort in individuals with fibromyalgia. In fact, most individuals don't even realize that they do have a fever, but are more focused on their symptoms that are causing them the most extreme discomfort. In some cases, individuals with fibromyalgia could start shivering before, during, or after experiencing a fever. There isn't really any known medication that can curb a fever with fibromyalgia, so the individual will have to continue with their normal course of treatment, despite having a low-grade or high-grade fever. The only way to avoid having a fever with fibromyalgia symptoms is by taking care to reduce the other symptoms of your fibromyalgia. Make sure to take part in regular physical exercise in order to reduce muscle stiffness. Additionally, make sure that you are consuming a proper diet that will give you plenty of energy. You will also want to make sure that you get adequate sleep, which will help you to be relaxed and help to reduce the symptoms of fatigue and such. Consuming a balanced diet as in consuming lots of fruits and vegetables especially can help to reduce the symptoms of fibromyalgia and fever. Vegetables have lots of fiber, which is essential for increasing metabolism and fruits have vitamins and minerals that help with repair and rebuilding of the muscles. As an individual with fibromyalgia, you should take care to avoid caffeine processed foods, soft drinks, refined carbohydrates, and other junk food. For those individuals who are suffering from not sleeping and high levels of stress, medications that facilitate sleep and relaxation methods can be wonderful in reducing those symptoms of fibromyalgia, which can contribute to feeling feverish. Both not getting adequate sleep and levels of stress are related because people who are stressed out don't get the proper amount of sleep. The less sleep you are able to get, the more likely you are to react negatively to stress. Therefore, relaxation methods, such as massage will help you to relax, which will help you to sleep much better. Individuals who have fibromyalgia are prone to experiencing both spells of fever and spells of chills on occasion. In some cases, the individuals will have a fever the entire time that they're suffering from fibromyalgia, most will actually never once experience a fever. Physicians say that individuals who are in the more advanced stages of fibromyalgia are less affected by fever and chills, and those in the early stages are more likely to be affected. Fibromyalgia and fever are actually related because an individual who is suffering from fibromyalgia can actually have a low-grade fever at any given time. There isn't really any specific evidence that connects the two but there is that possibility that fibromyalgia can cause a fever. Check out the link below for a guide on long-term remission or to join in with the community.